Welcome to the next training session of SAP FICO module. Today's topic for training is integration of FI and ST module. Again, integration of FI and ST module is a very important part because every organization who have SAP being implemented, they also have the SD module for the sales and distribution part. And ultimately, whatever the financial implications has to be done from the sales and distribution are impacted in the FI module. So, in this part, we'll be covering the overview, order to cash cycle, and how uh, the configuration overview will be looked. We will not exactly be doing the configuration because uh, for configurations, the SD module has to be implemented into the company code. And if it is not been implemented, then uh, you will not be able to configure the system for the integration. And you cannot see how the testing and impacts are done on the, for the integration part. So, the prerequisite for this particular topic is that you should have the SD module implemented into the SAP system for your particular company code. So, an overview, all billing transactions happening in the sales and distribution module will result in the FI postings. All accounting entries with respect to the billings will have one side of the customer as a customer, one side of the account as a customer or receivable and the another side will be a revenue account. The customer account gets picked up from the customer master data. All we need to do is to configure the revenue account and that is what uh, the integration of SD and FI which we will be looking after that how that revenue account is integrated with the with the FI and SD modules integration. So moving on to the next is sales order cycle. Now in the FI and MM integration this is important to understand what is the order to cash cycle. The sales order cycle is also known as order to cash cycle in general which includes the uh, above activities whenever a sales has to be executed. The first is a pre-sales activities and then the sales order processing is done and then the inventory sourcing then the delivery billing and payment. Let's understand these activities one by one. So when we go for a pre-sales activities, pre-sales activities in this includes inquiries and quotes. Inquiries document customer request for the information that how much quantity can be provided, what will be the price of the quantities, uh, pr per price of the quantities and what are the different pr prerequisites for going for a sale. Whereas quote to the customer offering a specific quantity of material at a specific price if accepted within a specific period. So in the inquiries part you inquire with the customer related to different informations, uh, related to the product, related to the price and related to the place where it has to be delivered whereas in the quote part you offer the customer a specific quantity with a specific price for a particular period of time. If the customer agrees he can he can give the order to you. So both inquiries and quotes can be used as a starting point to create a customer order. Now moving on to the next activity involved is once a pre-sales activity has been completed then comes up the sales order processing. Now in this part the customer place orders with a customer service representative who creates a document with the informations regarding the customer material which has to be ordered, what is the material and what will be the quantity, the pricing conditions for each item then the schedule lines that is the delivery dates and the quantities when it will be delivered then the delivery information where it has to be delivered and the billing information. So the information is pulled from the master data on the customer 
and the materials to minimize the data entry errors. So this is where the sales order has been received and now the next activity comes into that is inventory sourcing. So under the inventory sourcing the company determines if a product is available or not. If it is not available it has to be manufactured or it has to be acquired so as to deliver the goods to the party. Then the next question raises in the inventory sourcing is how the product will be supplied. Will it be supplied by hand? Will it be supplied by uh, from production or a purchase order that should be available? Or will it, will it be sipped from a, an external supplier? So what will be the exact source? How the inventory will be supplied if it is available? So the inventory sourcing occurs when an order is created and the delivery document is also created. Once a delivery document is created then we move up to the next activity that is the delivery. Now the delivery activities include creating delivery document. The delivery document is created under the activity delivery then creating transfer order for the material, provide packaging information if required and the most important part that is goods issue which is also known as PGI post goods issue where the inventory gets credited and the cost of goods sold gets debited which we have done in the FIMM integration earlier when the goods are issued to the customer. So that is that particular transaction which impacts your FI part as well comes under the head delivery where you will find the impacts on the accounting and the inventory data. So the next part comes up after that is the billing. Now a billing document is created by the informations from the sales order and delivery document into the billing document which is used to create the invoice. Creating a billing document will automatically debit the customer. On the another hand it will credit the revenue account. And even the posting can also be made to the other accounts as well like there could be taxes involved in this so that will also be taken up in the particular billing part. And the last activity of the cycle is payment. So the payment is the final step in the customer order management cycle. The final payment includes posting payment against the invoices. It could be an advance payment whichever has been agreed accordingly between the customer and the organization. So as we see in the sales to order to cash cycle. This order to cash cycle vision is to implement a clear and a standard order management process which automate and standardizes the sales to receipt of the payment. The SAP order to cash enables fast and efficient reactions to the stock price and delivery of products. SAP Order to cash will be standard business process to help sales order process run smoothly. The SAP order to cash is complete sales order covers all the functions from sales to the payment that will support different sales of goods among different industries but also support the process of return and complaint as well as commissions. So this is how you can see that the sales order is a very sales order cycle or the order to cash cycle is a very important process steps in the SD module. So now moving up to the next is the process steps. So the points which we have discussed in the sales to order will see how they have a financial implications in which of those activities. So the first ones comes up from the sales order that is the second part. So in the sales order 
that is done through the transaction VA01 in the SAP system but that has to be done by the sales and distribution consultant not an FI consultant you can see over here there is no financial impacts in this particular case then once an order is received and later on the goods are delivered a delivery is done again in that case no FI document is being generated into the SAP the next comes up is the PGI so PGI is the most important part which we talked about when the goods are ready to be shipped or to be moved for the customer in that case when the goods are taken off from the from the inventory the transaction which take place is cost of goods sold is debited and inventory of finished goods gets credited and these both the transaction is generated with the with, from the MM module because the inventory is actually a part of the purchase department so where the BSX transaction gets credited and the cost of goods sold GBB VAX is debited with the movement type 601 now once the goods are been moved to for delivery now the next question raises is the billing so the billing is done and when the billing is done the system automatically creates an accounting entry for the accounts and finance department and the entry done is customer gets debited and the sales revenue GL gets credited and once this particular entry has been generated then the incoming payment is processed with the transaction FDS 28 now this particular transaction incoming payment is a purely finance SAP FI transaction where the banks get debited and the customer is being credited with those particular open item that is the invoice and the payment is received so this is the process steps and now we have to look after in this is that all the accounting entries with respect to the billing that we have seen with the transaction VF04 over here now will have one side of the account as a customer which we have seen the customer has been debited as a billing part and another part is a revenue which we have seen over here so this is only the revenue part which we have to look for how this has to be integrated with the FI and SD module because the rest of the transactions they doesn't have any FI SD integration but the most important integration is the billing so whenever you do this transaction the customer gets debited for re for creating a billing and the revenue gets credited so you have to keep in mind that the customer account always gets picked up from the customer master data you don't have to assign it anywhere else whereas the else we have to do is we have to look after to configure the revenue account that is the credit side in case there is a revenue or discount or any kind of a commission being involved in the billing part so this is what we will look how this revenue account has been configured or has been assigned with the FI and SD integration part so now we'll be moving to the configuration and we'll see how this this particular configuration of revenue account is done it may be a revenue it may be a discount account also been involved or a rebate account been involved how these are been done in the billing so this is a configuration step the path is there as well as the transaction code is there that is VKOA so now let's move on to the SAP system and see how this particular configuration works so let's execute the transaction VKOA enter so in this you can find the assign GL account as a heading and there are five different options on the screen to you now it depends how you want to integrate your GL with the customer so first is the customer group and the material group and account key where you want to integrate the customer group with the material group and the GL account the another option is the customer group and the account key where the material has nothing to do with the with the account key part and the third option is material group and the account key fourth is general and the fifth is a simple account determination so any of these can be taken up as a part of this but the most common which has been taken now uh, been taken in the basic integration part is 
कस्टमर ग्रुप मेटीरियल ग्रुप एंड अकाउंट की सो विल गो थ्रू दी फर्स्ट पार्ट फर्स्ट टेबल दैट इज कस्टमर ग्रुप मेटीरियल ग्रुप एंड अकाउंट की सो वंस वी हैव टेकन वी हैव टू डबल क्लिक ऑन टू दिस सो वंस यू डबल क्लिक ऑन इट you will see that number of gl number of different things are already been maintained now if you see this account group account group basically is maintained in the sales view of the customer master so we can check that even with the sales with the customer master there is a customer group in the sales view which has to be maintained whereas the material group is the is maintained in the sales view of the material master whereas the account key is maintained in the pricing procedure for that condition type so here we will be maintaining those gl over here which are been assigned as you can see number of such gl are already been assigned so we will be seeing how we can do that assignment in this screen so if any gl account is maintained here the system will then go to the transaction data of the particular billing document and see whether such a combination of customer group and the material group exist and if it does it will pick that relevant revenue account and post the accounting entry if it does not it moves to the next combination in the table which is customer group and the account key that is this and so on for the rest of the groups so that is why it's favorable to take the table 1 and do the customization for that and the last option which we have seen is the account key so we'll be now maintaining the gl account so if you want to maintain you need to go to this new entries on the screen you need to select the application over here so you can see there are certain options on to the application part so in this you have to select v that is for sales and distribution module so that is what you need to take it over here then you need to need to take the condition type the condition type is the type which has been created from the st module so there are two one is cofi coffee that is account determination and the another is for account det determination with co so we have to take the account determination that is cofi only for sales and distribution module the next you need to take is the trans the chart of account over here so you can select your own chart of account for your company code suppose i have taking 1000 over here and then you need to select the sales organization now sales organization is the one which you will find from the sales and distribution part as this is one of the prerequisite for it so suppose for example i am taking this 1000 over here as a sales organization but you need to have your own sales organization which has been created in your particular company code now moving on to the next over here is aag let's select that so aag basically means account assignment group for the customer so you have to select over here that your particular condition will be applicable on domestic revenues export revenues or trading revenues which of these revenues you want your account assignment group should be applicable for the customer so if i take it for the domestic i have to select the first one that is first the same thing again moving up to the next is aag once more and now here there is a slight difference you can see the first aag refers to the account assignment for customer and the second aag refers to the account assignment for material so whether the domestic customer that was we have selected for this particular case now the domestic customer was there and against that domestic customer over here you have to decide which account assignment for material has to be selected will that be a finished goods will that be a trading goods or a scrap or which one you want to take it as so suppose i take it as finished goods so that's what i have taken up on the screen now you need to assign the account key this is the most another important part 
so in the account key the most common account key which we have to take is the revenue that is ERL as on your screen because we need to configure the system for the revenue only and in case you want to have for the rebate you can select rebate if you want for sales deductions you can take it for sales deductions also so all these options are there you can configure the system as per your requirement whether you want to have the rebate sales deduction or you want to have fret revenue you want to have revenue GL for which application or you want to assign for which account key you want to assign the GL suppose you want to assign the GL for revenue then you have to select the revenue and you have to assign the revenue GL against this that is the sales GL in case you are going for a fret revenue then you have to assign the fret GL account against that similarly if you are going for a sales reduction then you have to decide that in which GL the sales reduction has to be taken and accordingly you have to select so suppose I am taking up is ERL so that is what been taken up over here as ERL part and then once you have taken the ERL then you have to select the GL account so I know that the GR, ERL refers to revenue so in that case I need to go to the GL and I have to select the revenue GL which will be assigned against the ERL that is the revenue part so I can search that from over here star sale enter so you can see there are number of sales GL but the one which I will be assigning is sales domestic not even sales export why because I have taken this 01 over here that refers to the domestic part that is the domestic revenue so if I am assigning the domestic revenue here then I need to take the sales domestic GL if I would have assigned the export revenue then I would have taken sales export and if I am going for a trading then I will be taking the sales trading goods so you have to decide which one you want to take up with suppose I am taking is the domestic revenue so against domestic I will be assigning the domestic sales that is the revenue account similarly we can assign the next one again we will be taking V coffee 1000 sales organization 1000 but over here now now we can take the export revenue part that and in export revenue again we will be assigning the assign account account for material so in the material part again uh, we can take uh, the finished goods and then we can take over here the same ERL and here now we have taken the 02 that is related to export so now we need to assign the export GL that is the revenue GL so for that we can have a look we can search the revenue GL for export enter okay we haven't assigned the company code so probably it gives a lot of list so we need to put the company code first then we can search with the inverted star for faster search options so you can see there is a sales export GL assigned over here on the screen so this particular sales export can be taken over here as the revenue GL for ERL and for the account assignment for customer 02 that is the export part similarly you can take the third one for trading revenue and against that we can assign the trading GL trading sales GL So in this case now you can again search for the account assignment of customer now we can take the trading revenue then we can assign the account assignment for this and then we can again search for the third GL that is will be a revenue GL for the trading part. So over here you can find the sales trading goods account as well and that can be assigned over here to it so similarly you can also define number of different GLs as per the mapping you do and now even we can take another GLs like uh, we can take it for coffee again now we will be taking not for the revenue for some other purpose like now we can change the account key also the account key which we have used till now is 
ERL as you can see now you can go for some other part as well these are the common one which is starting with E over here on your screen the one is rebate sales deduction so in this case you can select the rebate ERB and then you can assign the rebate GL to it then you can take the ERF in case any kind of a FRET is involved and you can select the FRET GL for that you can also take the sales deduction as well or if there is any kind of a rebate you can select the rebate GL as well like suppose if you go for rebate on sales deduction uh, we can take this ERB rebate sales deduction and against that we can assign the GL for rebate or maybe for discount allowed so now we can search the GL over here for ERB that is rebate in the company code 1000 so we can search over here the discount GL which we can assign so you can see they are discount received wholesale discount so even if you want you can assign the wholesale discount GL against that so similarly you have to assign different account keys with these parameters the application will be V the condition type will be coffee you can search even again coffee refers to the account determination that is what you have to take and then the chart of account sales organization now these things will remain fixed the first four common four columns will remain fixed but now the things will change over here the first one is the account assignment for customer so whether you want to assign the GL for a domestic customer for export customer or what accordingly you have to take the GL and the next is the assignment in the material so that again have to be decided by you because they are different kind of a materials as you can see finished goods trading goods scrap and service revenue so whichever part of a description of material as your assignment you want you can take that and accordingly you have to decide the account key and then on the basis of these which GL you want to be hit has to be taken in this so in this way you need the assignment of account key with different parameters has to be done so this is how we assign the GL and once you save this your configuration will be saved so that is what how you have to configure this part now if you move back again so you can see the different assignment of GLs has been done over here with respect to different account keys you can see over here now that uh, the ER ERL are same but the GLs are different why the GL are different because of this account assignment with the material so that varies as per your configuration with the account assignment of customer and the material how it has to be taken now this was we have done is with the customer group account group and account key so this is the customer group column over here and this is your material group column and then the account key has been assigned now if you move back we can even take the second option where if you don't want any material group to be taken up so in that case you can go for the second option in that case every fields is similar to the last one just the difference is that over here there were two columns for account assignment for customer and for material now in this case you will find only one column that is the account assignment with customer group there is no difference apart from this so in this case the system will not search the GL options for the material part so this is used when the customer group has to be assigned directly with the account key with without reference of the material so that is what can also be done over here on the screen similarly you can go for a material group the most of the preferred is the first one that is customer group material group and the account key so this is how the configuration of FI and ST is done and you can see on the below part these are the common used account keys for FI and ST ERB is for rebate of sales deduction ERF for FRET revenues ERL which we have already shown how, configured how it can be done and ERS is for sales deductions so these are the common 
account keys which we have to assign in the transaction VKOA with the different parameters as we have seen and this is all about the sales and the sales and distribution with the FI integration is all about so these all uh, uh, the FI part over here is only for assigning the GL account with these different account keys the rest of the parts are the part of ST consultant who has to go for and have to check the other parts and have to do the postings and unit testing part with whether all the transactions have been posted correctly in the SAP system and later on then the FA consultant has to check that the accounting entry which has been generated are okay so that's it in the FI NSD integration part and here we are been uh, and at the end of the integration part of the FIs, FI with MM and ST part. So in the next part, we will be covering a new topic. Till then, we'll see you. Thank you.